thank you all for joining me. I'm Katie, the visit supervisor, and I just wanted to thank you guys both for taking the time to join me today. Today, we're going to just really talk about getting you guys a chance to meet each other, and then we're going to figure out how we're going to make the visits, these remote visits, work as best as possible so that Jason is able to see his kids. And so, first of all, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Jason. Um, I'm the father of Grayson, and uh, I'm not sure. Do you guys have his his older sister as well? Do you, do you have yeah, his? yeah, we have Charlotte too. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm the dad of Grayson and Charlotte. Hi, Jason. Um, my name is Jonathan, and um, I am Grayson's and Charlotte's foster parent. I'm taking care of him or taking care of them uh, for you for a while. Okay. What is it? What do you do with them? Well, um, we have uh, two other kids. And so um, my wife's uh, uh, not here right now, but um, we have two other kids and um, we've kind of just integrated them into uh, into our lives with the other kids. Um, and so we've got we're, you know, kind of stuck in the house right now, and we are trying to uh, keep up with school as much as we can and, um, you know, try and keep everyone occupied. Um, but how, uh, it's been, yeah, go how ahead. Charlotte, how is Charlotte doing in school? Well, um, but, they don't really tell me anything. The social worker doesn't call me back. It's really yeah. frustrating. I just, all of a sudden, I just don't get to see my kids, and then I just get this meeting note from the facilitator. Yeah, right. Um, so uh, she has been doing really well in school um, before um, the lockdown happened or the, the stay at home order happened. Um, she was doing really well. Uh, her teachers all gave her um, really good reports and, um, and w w was very impressed. Um, now, um, since we're staying at home, um, we have um, some resources from the teacher like she'll send home worksheets and we work through those um for part of the day and then other part the rest of the day we um you know play games and watch tv and try to stay entertained um grayson's been doing pretty well too um we've been helping him to do some work too just to help him feel included since all the other kids are doing school work we have some you know little videos and and that sort of stuff um we found some some great YouTube videos where people are reading children's books, and um, he really seems to enjoy that. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah. But are you, you, you going to be homeless because of the the virus? No, um, I'm still able to work, and so uh, we shouldn't have a problem there. Um, How do you keep the kids safe if you're out well, working? Yeah. Well, I no, I'm still working. I'm working from home. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, uh, sorry for the misunderstanding there. I'm working from home, and so we 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 should be fine in terms of you know keeping the house, and um, we're we're basically just keeping everyone inside as much as possible. Um, you know, either my wife or I will go out to the grocery store. We don't take any of the kids with us. It's just us um, trying to keep the, the social distancing uh, practices in place. Um, we do let them go outside in our little backyard um, where they can play uh, a little bit whenever they want. Luckily, the weather has been okay recently, so that's been uh, you know good for them. Um, in the front yard is a little bit more difficult because there are lots of other kids in the neighborhood, and so we we um, we don't let them play with the other kids right now because we're trying to keep people apart. Um, that's been the hardest on Grayson, you know, at, at just five years old, he's hard. It's harder for him to understand why we do that. And so he gets, he gets a little bit more upset. Than he, other kids? I'm sorry. The, are, are the other kids playing with other kids? Sometimes they are. Um, the other parents are, um, are doing their part to keep the social distancing in place. Um, but, you know, every once in a while, one family's kids will be out there in the street and another family's kids will come in. And so sometimes there are interactions like that. And the parents are out there trying to keep their kids six feet apart. And so it's always a little bit of a circus. 
Um, most of the time, it's it's kind of like one family uses the uses the the street in front of the in front of our yards at the same at one time, and then another family kind of takes a turn. Um, so, Jonathan, I'm wondering if Jason's wondering if any of the other kids in the house are going out and getting exposed to the other neighbor kids, or if you're are you keeping all the kids in the house inside, or is it just Jason's kids? Oh no, it's it's all of our kids. So um, everyone does the same thing. So we're all, um, you know, in the house most of the time uh, or in the backyard where there aren't other people. Um, we don't have others in the house right now. Um, and that's a that's a change. And that's been, you know, kind of the 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 hard part for all of this and for all of us. I would be so Charlotte loves going outside. Oh, I know. Um, and that's why we have we do have the backyard. We have um, some swings and there's a little bit of space for them to run around. Um, it's in other times we typically spend most of our time in the front yard where they can uh, ride their bikes and um, you know play around and, and play tag and stuff with the other kids um, but now um, we don't do that so much um, but we do allow them to go outside of course whenever they want in the back uh, and then for a limited time in the front if there's no one else out there okay so um, it sounds, so like you're, sounds like you're doing okay with the whole the whole distancing thing. Uh, we are, yeah, we are trying our best. So, Jonathan, so I know that Charlotte's about nine and Grayson is five. How are they? Can you tell Jason a little bit about or gosh, I think I messed up all the names. Jonathan, can you tell Jason a little bit about how the kids are doing? Just being scared about what's going on and what you're doing to kind of help them process all the unknown and changes? Yeah, sure. Um, so we've explained to them that there is a disease out there that makes people sick um, and we don't really have a good way to keep it from spreading aside from staying away from other people. And that means staying away from all their friends and not going to school and that it is so important um, that, that uh, everyone is doing that and that the government has ordered us to do this. Um, and so, um, Charlotte seems to be doing pretty well with that. You know, she kind of understands that, um, even if she doesn't understand all of the, you know, mechanics of, uh, of how disease spreads, but she understands, you know, what it means about staying away and, and not getting sick. Um, Grayson is trying, but it's harder for him because he's, you know, younger. And um, so he does still get a little bit upset when he can't play with his friends or um, go to the park. And so um, it's it's been challenging, but I, I think we are, you know, kind of working together. Charlotte's been really good helping Grayson understand. And it's good that they're together so that they can uh, have a little bit of familiarity in some of these times, especially when they can't see you. And so um, I think that helps a little bit. Being with your house together, I was glad they could be at your house together and they're not apart. Yeah, right. It made me happy thinking about that. What? Uh, when? When can I see my kids? Uh, um, so, Jason, that's something we're going to have to talk to the social worker about, right? Now, the governor has suspended all in-person visits, and I'm he really pardon me. Do you even have kids? I don't know. I don't know if the governor has kids, but let's use this time right now to kind of focus on how we can make sure you see your kids. And I know it's over a video call and that is not ideal. And we are all hoping things get back to normal as soon as possible so that you can see your kids. But let's uh, focus right now on seeing how we can get you to see your kids in these video visits. And so one thing I kind of wanted to talk about is that these are pretty new to everybody. We haven't been doing them. And so there's going to be some trial and error. And I just am going to ask you guys to be flexible as we figure things out. It's not going to be perfect, but we're going to all work together to make these work as best possible for Charlotte and Grayson. And so the first thing I want to tell you, uh, Jason and Jonathan, is just that the visits might be shor shorter. And Jason, I know you are court ordered three visits that are two hours a week but Grayson's five Charlotte's nine and their attention spans for a video recording might be a little shorter and so we are gonna try 
and do our best to have you see your kids and it might be shorter, but we're gonna try to do it more frequently because we know how important it is for you to be able to see your kids and for your kids to be able to see you. So we're all gonna try and work together to do more frequent but shorter visits. And so I'm, okay. I'm sorry you don't get to see your kids for the whole two hours. And if a visit is going well and the kids are engaged, then we're gonna keep going. But if they're kind of like showing signs that they're having a hard time staying engaged with the video camera, then we'll end it, but we're gonna try and get you a few more visits. Um, okay. Jonathan, would you be open to Jason like recording himself reading a book so that you could play that for the kids at bedtime or something like that? Oh yeah, that'd be great. I, I know they would love that. Yeah, I could try and do that. that I, made, I made him a picture. Oh, Charlotte. look at that. Hey, Charlotte, Charlotte. Charlotte. So Charlotte's here. Come here, look. look I made him a picture. This oh, is a, that's so cool. Look, Charlotte. It's me and you and Grayson at our first visit after this virus thing is gone. What do you think? Oh, look, here's Grayson. Look. <laughs> Hi, Grayson. Got a sign for you. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. You guys getting enough food to eat? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? You're doing a good job playing outside? Yeah. yeah. That's good. I can see you. Yeah, stand up. <laughs> there you go. Now he can How, see you. How's everything going? I miss yeah. you guys. I really miss you guys. Do you guys get to draw? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really, we love to draw together, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was a lot of fun. What, what else has been... Do you guys read, are you reading any books to your brother, Charlotte? Uh, yeah. Yeah? What books are you reading? Um, so like short stories. Yeah, yeah. Did you read the one about the carrots? Do you remember the one where the little girl doesn't like to eat the carrots? Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, that's cool. Have you guys read any books uh, by E.B. White? Do you have any of those, uh, Charlotte? No, I don't think so. Maybe I could try and find some of those for when we get a visit again. I really, I really, really miss you guys. I do too. Me too. What did you guys have for lunch today? Um. Let's see. I think we are going to have uh, peanut butter sandwiches and cheese it and cheese its <laughs> Better sandwich and cheese its apparently. <laughs> I really like cheese its Me too. You like cheese its too, Grayson? Yeah. Yeah, they're some of our favorites, huh? Yeah. Um Hey Grayson and Charlotte, do you have anything special you want to show your dad? Come on, Grayson, show me your new baby. So one of the things that they have been working on these last few days is they've been building some Lego creations. Beyblade! And Grayson no. has also discovered Beyblades. Uh, and so he's very excited about his Beyblades. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. All right, now move it back so he can. There you go. Now we can see your face. <laughs> so, Charlotte, do you want to show your dad uh, some of these things that you built? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just move the camera around. Alexa. Oh, that's cool. Tell me about that, Charlotte. This is my Lego horse barn because I oh, love because I love horses and I built it. Oh, that's cool. Uncle Jonathan helped me. Uncle. <laughs> yep. Yep, I did. We, I, I must confess, I'm a Lego fan as well. So, yes, we've built this. That's a little uh, Let me see if I can. Oh, cool. I see you have a metal one. A metal that's cool. Oh, I like your bracelet. Oh, thank you. This is my planet bracelet. It's all the planets. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Can you tell me all the planets? Um, I'll try. So, um, there's Saturn, 
Uranus, uh, Daddy, what's, I mean, Uncle Jonathan, what's this one? Uh, I believe that one is um, Neptune. Neptune. I will just say, Jason, um, since we have other kids in the house, they, of course, they call me dad. Um, sometimes Grayson and Charlotte will kind of say that to follow along, but we always correct them by saying, I'm Uncle Jonathan. And so that we're, we totally acknowledge that you are their dad and we do not encourage them to say that. So I just wanted to be transparent about that. Sometimes it happens, but we always correct them. Okay. This one is the sun and Mars, and then we have Earth, Mercury, Jupiter, and what's this one? Pluto. I, I'm i sorry, I wasn't even, I, I, I lost track of which ones you had done. Um, maybe that's the moon. Okay, well, this, there's also Pluto. The little, oh, that's the tiny one. And then the, these sparkly ones are the space. Hmm. That's cool. Did Grayson help you build your pork barn? No. He was building something else. Grayson's focused on the Cheez Its. I think so. <laughs> I also built this little car right here. Oh, that's cool. What kind of car is it? I don't know. You didn't name it? What? You didn't name it? No. You should name it. Like Shelby or Ingrid or I'll call it Mike. What? Mike. Mike? I like it. You didn't choose it. <laughs> Did you say you're eating cheeses? Mm -hmm. Is it lunchtime? Mm -mm. It's no. getting close. You just like cheese. Yeah, I know you're. You know what? I used to say you were gonna turn into a cheese. It. He does like his cheese. It's that's for sure. Yeah. All right. So I think we're uh, just gonna wrap up the visit. Um, Grayson and Charlotte, is there anything that you guys want to do with your dad? on the next visit like would you be interested in doing your dad said he really likes to do art with you guys and you guys like to draw so do you think maybe next time we could do some drawing with your dad yeah would that be good jason do you have um the supplies you need or could i help you with that um i i mean i have some i have some paper and some crayons but uh colored pencils would be cool okay Okay. That would be helpful. Okay. All right. Let's get that set up for next time. So the next time you guys get to see your dad, you can do drawing with your dad. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Can you guys, we're going to go ahead and end the visit now. So can you guys say goodbye? Bye. Daddy. Bye. I love you guys. Bye. I miss you. I'll miss you too. All right. I'll, I'll see you. Hopefully I'll see you. Get to see you soon. Bye. 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 Goodbye.